Hi, and welcome to another of my blog on the bog. Yes, I'm on the bog again, doing my blog. <laughs> Everyone in the house has gone to bed, so I've got to keep my noise down. Alright, so let's just uh, check out my podcast. I did my nice bit in the podcast, 201. Three hours of awesome heavy metal. Yeah. Check that out, link's down below. If you like heavy metal, link is down below. <coughs> so history on this day. On this day, the 23rd of July, in the year 1745, Bonnie Prince Charlie lands at Eriskay in the Ebrity, Scotland, to lay claim to the British throne. And in 1914, Austria-Hungary delivers an ultimatum to Serbia, taking Europe to the brink of World War I. And in 1940, Britain's local defence frontiers become the Home Guard, after Winston Churchill coins the name. Okay, who do you think? Say, Dad, tell me. Who I can miss the love if you think you're on the run? <laughs> yeah, you know, you probably know that sitcom. If you don't, then you're very young, probably. Or never watch TV much. But it's a poetry out loud. Well, but random poem today. I do remember this poem, actually. I've done it before, but maybe I'll get it right this time. Maybe I'll recite it in a better way than I did before. It's called I Think I Should Have Loved You Presently by Edna St. Vincent Millay. Who lived from 1892 to 1950. I think I should have loved you presently, and given in earnest words I flung in jest, and lifted honest eyes for you to see, and caught your hand against my cheek and breast, and all my pretty fl- follies flung aside, that won you to me, and beneath your gaze, naked of reticence and shorn of pride, spread like a chart my little wicked ways. I that had been to you had you remained, but one more waking from a recurrent dream. Cherish no less the certain stakes I gained, and walk your memory's halls of stare supreme, a ghost in marble of a girl you knew, who would have loved you in a day or two. It's an interesting poem, that one, I don't know, I quite like to have read it before. It was kind of like she, sort of, he, uh, love for him was unrequited kind of thing, but then after he stopped chasing her, I think she thought that she missed him. I think that's kind of the idea I was getting there, that maybe if it stuck around for a bit, you know, a bit longer, or maybe when she, the chance went to, to court, maybe she regretted the fact that the chance was gone. Maybe that's what that poem is about, that's all I can think. But anyway, that was poetry. We've had some history. This is me. Check out some heavy metal by listening to my podcast in the link below. And I'll be back tomorrow to talk more nonsense that nobody wants to hear. Bye.